Hey guys, welcome back. As always, I hope you're having a glorious day today. As many of you know, I'm in the process of cleaning up the Brickitech studio, which is a complete disaster. In fact, I had to find a small space in my desk just to do this video, and this video is a letter attempt. I had these sitting around over there, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in letter debt here, and I need to get out. So I'm going to be opening up all of the letters that you guys have sent us over the last several weeks, and we'll read them all here with you. So if this is your type of thing, or if you're looking for something that's kind of just chill and laid back, this is it. We got our first letter here. Hot Wheels stickers on here, looking awesome. Clarky would like that. This says open during mail time. Well, this is letter attack, so it's about as close as we get. I do have, I don't have my letter opener. I have no idea what happened to it. It's been missing for months. It's probably in with some type of Lego thing that I haven't opened yet. So we're just gonna use our knife to crack into these. This is gonna be probably a little bit of a longer video, I would imagine, just for the fact that this takes some time to do. We've got a special gift inside here. This quite possibly could be a sig fig. His head, or his hat, is really far over there. Somehow this made it to us. I always tell you guys, and I'm trying to get the lighting right on this, I always tell you guys, be careful sending stuff like this because unless you put it in some type of, like, put tape on it, oftentimes this will get shredded in the mail service. Luckily this guy made it to us without any problems. And we've got a couple letters in here. I'll put them in the background. I'll try to keep them in the back so you guys can see them. Might have to edit this down depending on what's in the letter. Sometimes people put their addresses in there. I recommend not doing that. But this says, to Greg and Clark, hello, my name is Anthony. I'm from New York. I love your videos. They make me very happy. I think Clark is very funny. I've been watching your videos for a few months now. And I really enjoy them. I am a huge Lego Star Wars, oh no, and Ninjago fan. Oh my God, he's got both of them. I hope you get to 100,000 subscribers soon. We did it, we did it. Uh, you're almost there and deserve 1 million subscribers. Well, if you have 900,000 friends, you wanna let them know about Brickitect. Send them on over. Tell them we, uh, we read letters on video and it's so exciting. I hope you continue to post, which you probably will. I love your mail time videos. Thank you from Anthony. Anthony, thank you for that nice letter. Thank you for the, the well wishes here on the channel. I, I'm gonna keep making videos. You don't have to worry about that. This is something I really love to do and I just killed you. I'm sorry. That was not my intention, Anthony. We also have this in here as well. This looks like some artwork if I've ever seen it before. We got ourselves a Brick Tech Journey logo with the Lego logos on there. This is not a Leppin brick, my friends. It says Brickitech down there. And then uh, Anthony Nuccio. Anthony, thank you so much for the letter. Thank you for the artwork. And thank you for the minifig. I'm going to assume this is your sig fig. And I will put you on the sig fig wall, which is actually going to be coming this weekend, finally. We do have another letter here with some very nice handwriting on there. And let's see if I can just crack into this without any trouble. I think I'll use my knife, though. Sometimes the knife causes more grief than it's worth. I'm really struggling with this one, boys. All right, we are in, and inside here is a typed letter. I'm gonna try to stay somewhat organized here while I do this. I save all the letters you guys send. I have a whole box full, whole HelloFresh box full of letters. This says, to Greg and Clark, man, Hey, what's up? It's Mason from North Carolina. As I'm writing this, I am watching your Thanos mech video. I was writing to tell you that I sent a package in the mail for you guys. The poly bag is for Clark Man. Sorry, Greg. How dare you? It says, this past Sunday, it was my sister's birthday, and she turned eight. And for her birthday, I got her the Poppy's Pod and Poppy's Carriage thing. She loved it. We watched the movie the next, uh, I'm assuming the next day, and uh, made a Trolls world, kind of like Clark Man's Minecraft world. Speaking of Clark's Minecraft world, I just watched the video, and it was awesome. As your guys' videos uh, for Thanos Mech came out, I just got done building the Thanos Mech. I now have the Thanos and Iron Man Mech. Ooh, two good ones. Uh, well, that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys have an awesome, and uh, thanks for the content. I'm out! Well, thank you so much, Mason. I appreciate you writing that in. I hope you guys are enjoying your Trolls world. I think Minecraft world, at least for me, I, I prefer that, but you know, maybe some people Trolls is their thing. I can't hate because... Everyone has different tastes, and that's what makes things interesting around here. Again, I'm going to try to put these off to the side here. I don't save the envelopes, so the, all the work that you put into these, I, I'm sorry. I can't save everything, but I do love looking at the artwork you guys put in there. We've got another one here. Oh, my gosh, this one's heavy. It feels like there's there's metal or something in here. You got your money. Oh, you do three stamps on this one to get it to go through. So, yeah, it's definitely, definitely heavy. Um, I'm going to do something a little crazy here. Uh, first thing, kick my camera man possibly and uh, next thing I'm gonna use my scissors which are left-handed scissors and for some reason I'm cutting them right-handed old habits die hard oh I botched that son of a biscuit anyways we'll try to get in here <laughs> 
Why? Why do you guys do this to me? I'm just kidding. All right. Let's see if we can dump this out. Okay. We got some quarters in here. We got some money to spend on some things. Maybe for Clarkman's piggy bank. Uh, I think we got everything. Does that look empty to you guys? Looks empty to me. Okay. Some airheads. Oh, boy. These are delicious. So not only do we get money, not only do we get some candy, we also have a letter here as well. On yellow paper, with some stickers up at the top there, we've got uh, Spider-Man, we've got a Hulkbuster, and we've got Groot. Oh, this is from 426. I'm sorry this took me so long to get to this. Dang, that's embarrassing. I'm going to try to get caught up on these guys. These, it's just, it's, it's a lot. Uh, this says, Dear Greg and Clark, Hi, my name is Con is it Kenner? Connor, I bet you. And uh, Kenner is a popular toy brand. If you guys are looking for awesome vintage toys, Kenner is where you want to go. But I think this is Connor. And this is my first letter of hopefully more. You guys are the best YouTube channel. Oh boy, there's I've seen so many better YouTube channels than mine. But I, <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. And I watched all of your channels. I love the comedy that Clark adds to the videos, and I love the great times you have with Clark. My favorite themes are Harry Potter, Marvel. And Star Wars. You got a lot of variety there, my friend. You got some good taste. Harry Potter, though. Actually, stay tuned. Harry Potter coming soon. Uh, you're real. You are real, and that makes you awesome. And you guys add happiness to the world, one video at a time. I included 75 cents for Clark and two Airheads. I hope you have and your family stay safe. Have a great day. Your fan Connor, who also drew the Hot Wheels logo, a Creeper, a Brick Tech Journey logo, all the things that are in our life. It says, "P.S. You guys inspired me to create a channel." called Fantasy Bricks, and it will be up on May 10th. Got any tips for it? Well, my first tip is everyone go over and check out Fantasy Bricks. Give them some support. I hope you have some videos out now because it's been almost a month. But my tip is make videos that you enjoy making. Be yourself, just as you set up here, and be consistent. Whether that's making one video a month, one video a week, one video a day, one video an hour, just stay at it. I think I may have forgotten one of the quarters that you sent, possibly. Unless it, unless it somehow escaped us here. But, uh, yeah, I think your quarter must have jumped into the mailman's pocket. But that's okay. We have 50 cents for Clark, man. Maybe we'll take this to a yard sale, if yard sales ever come back. And he could get, like, something epic for this. Maybe a Transformer, maybe a Lego set, maybe a Thomas train. You never know what could come of this. So we'll take that, and we'll take the Airheads. Thank you for sending those, Connor. I appreciate that, man. Very nice. Very nice things you said to, there, too. It really makes my day better when I... When I do mail time. This one's just a Clark man. I wonder if you'd have any problems with me opening it. We also have a uh, Santa Claus sticker up here. I was I got really worried. I was like, oh my gosh, there are a couple letters that have been lost in the mix. And I got really worried that this is from like December, but it's from the beginning of May. So we're only about a month month behind in this. I'm gonna open this up for Clark man. We'll see what's inside here. Oh, this might be a, a coloring page for him, actually. I don't know if there's any writing on this. Oh, it's already been colored. Okay, so we got Buzz Lightyear. Your hero has arrived. And on the back here, oh my gosh, they're stealing my properties here. Missing piece? It's my podcast, Missing Pieces. Can you find the missing piece of the puzzle? Oh boy. Which one do you think it is, guys? This is going to get us made for kids for sure. Hey kids, which piece of the puzzle is missing? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Yay, it's A, hopefully. If I got that wrong, that'd be probably the most embarrassing moment of my life. But uh, now that all the kids are gone, guns, uh, explosions, um, I don't know. That's all I got. Let's go on to the next one there. I don't know who sent that to us. That was, was there anything? Oh, geez. I almost missed it. There's a letter in there with this. Got all distracted there with the made for kids. It says, hey, hi, Clark. My name is Logan. I am three years old and live in North Carolina. You mean 13, right? 13. Uh, I enjoy watching your videos. I'm also a huge Lego fan. I colored you a Buzz Lightyear picture. Your friend Logan. Well, Logan and Logan's mom, thank you for, for sending this. If you don't know about the 13 thing, it's just a, it's a little joke that we have going on here. But I thank you for, for sending that. And I'll have Clark Man guess the one in the back there and see if he gets it right. Hopefully he does. This says, uh, please open this on camera. My address is on a separate piece of paper. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, this is thank you for the warning there. I'm going to bring this off camera because I don't want to show your address, ideally. I don't think you want anybody showing up there. A lot of crazy people watch this channel. When you're crazy yourself, you attract crazy people, and that is unfortunately what I have done here on Brickitect. Uh, it's on a separate sheet of paper. Let me open this up off camera here. Okay, it's just folded up inside here, so I think we're all right. 
I don't want to show your address. This says, hi, my name is Jared. I'm, oh gosh, I'm 13, FTC. And I've been watching, let me know when your birthday is. <laughs> I've been watching your YouTube channel for about a year and I love watching your vids. I hope your channel will be one of the most viewed Lego channels on YouTube. That would be awesome. For someone like me to become a most viewed Lego channel would be a, a miracle. There we got some artwork. We've got the uh, Brickitect Journey logo. We've got the Throwback Games with Greg logo. We've got the Brickitect Live logo. We've got the Mrs. Brickitect logo. We've got the Greg's World. Have I started too many channels? I think it might be a little out of hand here, my friends. But it says, P.S., could you send me a signed piece of paper, please? I think I could do that. I think that's pretty easy for me to do. I just have to get to the post office, which isn't a place that I go very often. I go about every two weeks to pick up mail for you guys. Um, but thank you for sending this, Jared. Congratulations on uh, becoming 13 very soon, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, thank you for, for watching our channel. I appreciate that, man. I think the 13 joke, though, has run its course. I think I'm going to stop. The whole Made for Kids thing is, it was it's bogus. It really is. But here we go. We got another one here. This is from uh, Buffalo, New York, up in that area. Amazing. There we got stamps, too. What is that? Is that a, um, shoot, what are those things called? Tinkly Winkly is one, or Tinky Winky, or whatever is uh, Teletubby. Is that a Teletubby? Because it really looks like one. I hope it's not. I, it can't be, right? It can't be. Those things died out years ago. Let's cut it into this. By cut, I mean rip like a, a savage. There's some things in here. Oh, boy. Oh, we got a Batman. I'm Batman. That's awesome. Check this out. Hey, what's up with the bottom of there? I've never seen it like that, have I? There's Batman. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like the bottom of his cowl is different than what I'm used to. Huh. Interesting. So there's Batman. It's awesome, dude. I like that Batman. So now we have we've got two minifigs here. Put them in the background. I don't know if you can see them back there. We also have a uh, lavender piece here. I don't know if that's the official Lego color, but I like that color. It's beautiful. I imagine that's to drop or place nicely on the desk, hopefully. Much rather do that. Okay, this says, Hi, my name is Carter, and I live in Buffalo, and I've been watching your videos for a month now, and I love them. I've sent a piece to drop and a minifig from Carter. Carter, thank you for the for the piece, and thank you for the Batman. Thank you for the drawing here. That looks pretty cool. Looks like a, a hip brick guy. You guys remember the Lego Maniac? Most of you guys that are watching this are probably too young to remember that, but do a do a search for that. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Make sure I got everything out of your letter there, Carter. Thank you for that. Uh, we got another one here. This one I had to pay $2.70 to receive because it uh, the postage was under, but that's okay. I always I always pay for the postage. I think you have the option to refuse it, but I'm like, nah, somebody tried sending us something. I'll pay it. It's fine. I'm making that YouTube bank, right? Oh, goodness. We got a whole bunch of things in here. Okay. Uh, we got that all clear. And I'll move move this out of the way up here with our other little stash. What do we got here? Oh, is that uh, Sugar Shack? What is her name? What is her name? I don't know. Somebody's going to help me. Somebody out there right now is like, I know it. I'll tell you, Greg. We've got, oh my gosh, this is worth $2.70 by itself. The ultra rare orange brick separator. Marvel at its majesticness. New word that I just made up. But yeah, we are, uh, I'm working or I'm planning on doing a giant sculpture using brick separators that you guys have sent us in the mail because we have quite a few of them as you can probably expect and I thought that'd be kind of fun but here's our minifig tell me who this is it'll be like 500 comments of literally just the same thing and it's, it's not coming to me I thought it would we'll put her over there in the back there as well we have a chest inside is whatever your imagination contains little chest Okay. Oh, that's a satisfying sound. You probably can't hear it because I have the microphone over here. Let me do this. I don't know. Getting weird now. Getting very odd. I like this this calm video. It's very different from what we do. This says me. Okay, before we show me, let's see who me is. This says, Hi, Greg and Clark. My name is David. I decided to write a letter to you, included my fig and other stuff from David. David. Let's let's meet David. Thank you for the for the stuff, man. Sorry, I don't know who the character is that you sent. But uh, we're gonna get in here. We're gonna we're gonna get your sig fig out of here. If you guys don't know what a sig fig is and why it's called a sig fig, it's like a signature figure. It's the person that's supposed to represent you 
as a Lego minifig. So you can make it look however you want. It can look exactly like you in real life. It could look nothing like you. It could be what you want to look like or what you wish looked like. It looks like maybe, looks like uh, David had some, uh, he had some dog issues here. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe he got a little hungry before he sent it over. But that's okay. Maybe he has uh, chew marks on his face in real life too. But there he is. I like that torso. It's pretty cool. His face in the back. He's like, oh, I got chewed on a little bit. Maybe that he's like, ah, I got chewed on a lot. But yeah, there you go. There's David. Thank you for, for sending that. I'll make sure you get up on the wall. Both of you guys are going on the wall. Next up, we got another one here. Greg and Clark. This is from May as well. Thank you guys if you're watching this right now. It's a very long video. You guys have attention spans to sit through me reading. I think it's fun, though. It's a little bit different. Not what you commonly see on LEGO channels. And I think it's awesome that people send us letters. This says, Dear Greg and Clark, man. Hey, I love LEGO. Oh, I love your... I was, I was looking at that word, and I was like, I love your LEGO vids, and you inspire me. I was just wondering if I could have a signed photo of you and Clark, man. I did that once. I had one photo, and I sent it out to a gentleman. It was his wife or girlfriend... Uh, sent me uh, an email and said it was his birthday and I had my photo which was in the picture frame that used to be on my desk and I sent him that photo and I have yet to replace it so I was thinking of maybe of getting a bunch of copies of the one where it's me Mrs. Brickitect and Clarkman in the in the Brickitect studio of our of our old house I thought I should get a bunch of those made and I can send them out to people and stuff but I don't have one right now uh, keep up the great work I love watching your videos and you put a smile on my face P.S. Will you get a 501st Battle Pack? I will get a 501st Battle Pack. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to get one, and I'm going to review it as Greg's Gardening Tips for all the people that watched our last video and enjoyed that one. We're going to have some tomatoes on the table, and we'll we'll review it up nice. This is from our fan, Simon. Simon, thank you for the letter. He says, this is your old sig fake. Oh, yeah. You guys remember the Banana Man sig fake. Don't worry. You look better than this. <laughs> oh, thank you. And it says, on this version... And this version is worn out on purpose. Okay, I got you. I got you. I um, I want to thank you for sending this. I do want to make a, a statement here for anybody that's frantically writing a letter now. Um, I know for a fact that if I start saying like, yeah, sure, I'll send you a, a photo. I'll send you this, send you this, do this. I'm going to get dozens and dozens of letters just just from people sending letters to ask for things and i wish i could do that but i i really i don't want to get into that because it's just going to be too much for me to to handle it's not a huge expense because it would be like a stamp but when you start doing stuff like that because i used to give away brick tech logos when you start doing stuff like that it gets out of hand really fast and it, it created this environment where people did nothing but send me stuff just just to ask me to to send them something and it got it just got really bad so i i can't start that it's one of those things where you wish you could do it it's almost like say you uh say you have a pack of gum and you give someone a piece of gum that's in your class or whatever and then like another kid comes up another kid comes up and then eventually like it just gets it gets bad and then some people get let down and that's not that's not good right it's not good but we do have another letter here Thought I should make that public service announcement. I'm sure you guys understand. Some of you will. Let's open this up. Got a purple note in here. It's oh, it's it's more than just purple. Oh, wait a minute. It, I see the words "Don't read on video." Okay, I, let me let me bring it off here. Okay, I'm gonna read this off camera for just a second here. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Oh boy. This. <laughs> All right, this doesn't have any name on it or anything, but this is a perfect example of what we were just talking about. This doesn't reveal anything. But this says, uh, Dear Greg and Clark, I've wondered if you could give me the Lord Business Evil Lair, but if you've already built it, it's fine. For the backup, you should give me the Simpsons series too, because I've watched that video before I made the same letter and I live in Virginia. So, <laughs> uh, it's kids. It's okay. It's fine. That's That happens sometimes. I didn't, I'm sorry I read that. If, if that's you, you're, you're not publicly embarrassed because no one knows who you are. But yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's move on to the next one here. This is in a, in a bigger envelope here. Sometimes I consider doing these on, on mail time, but we have so much stuff on there. I'm just going to go into this this way. Why do we get so blue? Why are we, I think it's the color of this is really changed. It's like my camera is frustrated that this is so yellow. Look how blue I am. And this is what I've turned into. My new sig fig. We have like the same skin tone. Actually, watch it change if I put her up here. Maybe not. Anyways, cameras. Cameras, man. We're going into this like an absolute mad lad. 
What is that? I've never seen that piece before. Oh, gosh. I'm just going to do it. Did we get everything? There's more. There's more. Hey, the colors come back. Okay. I think I got everything. Where do we start here? This says uh, minifig inside, minifig inside. Oh, nice little, little package there. Let's read the letter first. Dear Greg and Clark, my name is Brody Landeros, and I live in Texas, and I'm a, uh, 13. Your videos are awesome. Keep up the good work. Stay safe. P.S. Could you please sign the back? Sign. Wait, could you please sign the minifigure and send back? See, that's, yeah, uh, Brady Landeros. Okay, let's take a look here. How do you sign a minifig? That's not easy to do. I've seen Brixar sign bricks before, and that seems to work okay. Signing a minifig. That's a challenge. There's not many, like, surface. Oh, gosh. There's not much surface area there to sign. So we got this guy here. Did I get everything out of there? This is creating all kinds of a mess here. Brody. Making a mess on my desk. My whole studio is a mess. This is one clean space that I have here. It's getting destroyed. Let's put his hair on. There he is. You guys see him okay? I like that shirt. I've seen that shirt before. Clark, Clark usually wears that shirt as his sig fig. When people do sig figs of them, that's one that they usually put on them. Or sometimes put on them. I shouldn't say usually because every one of them is a little bit different. This one I need scissor tech to help me with. Brody got a little little crazy there. He's a crazy dude. You guys know Brody. This one. Oh, this is probably the one he wants us to sign. Huh. Can I sign? This is kind of a cool idea for a like a piece of art. You can draw all over it. Almost like the wooden minifig. I haven't got that one yet because it's so bloody expensive. But have you guys seen that that wooden one where it has like plastic hands? That's another thing I don't like about it. But you can draw on that and stuff, but it, man, it's like a hundred and some dollars. I have an idea for a funny spoof video, but the time has kind of passed. You could color this and draw on it. It's not easy to sign though, because it's just so small. You would need something very fine tipped to do that. I don't know, dude. That's that's a bit that's a bit much. I feel bad letting people down. They're like, hey, can you can you send me uh, can you send me this uh, this set right here? And if you can't send that, it's okay because you can send me something else. Or can you sign this and stuff? Some of these things aren't that bad. But again, if, if I start doing this, it's going to get really bad, guys. Like I'm telling you, I will go from having this many letters that I can easily read, you know, every couple weeks here on camera, to literally being pummeled with letters to the point where I can't even do this anymore because there's going to be so many of them, and they're all going to be doing the same exact thing, which is, oh, my gosh. Magic just happened. Has that been sitting there the whole time? We got 75 cents now. Nice. It'll get to the point where I can't even do these videos. And that'll suck, because I like sharing these. I like just reading your letters. Here's an idea for mail time, because I feel guilty now, because you guys are sending me stuff. Don't Just send the letters. You don't have to send anything with it. Just send the letters. Don't, don't ask for anything in return. And uh, I think we could work it out that way. This one, though. Oh, my gosh. There's all kinds of things in here. I get everything? I got everything. Here we go. Mini. Oh, my gosh. These are uh, the new series. What is it? Series 20? Is that what they are? We do not have these ones. And I got the, my favorite one that, out of all of those. Before I get into this, though, let's let's read the letter because this is, this is awesome. This is a great way to finish this off. My goodness. Uh, open this up. This says, Dear Greg and Clark, I watch your videos every day. I knew you were collecting Series 20, and I was too, so I sent some of my extra figures. I'm working on a Lego City, and you guys gave me so many tips to get deals. I was wondering where that was going. I was thinking, like, I'm working on a Lego City, and you guys gave me so many tips. I'm like, I don't have a Lego City yet. I need to make one. <laughs> but yeah, getting deals, that's something I'm really proud of. I love doing that. So always, always try to get the deals, and I try to post them when I can. This is from Enzo. He says, here's some digital art that I made. Oh, I'm excited about that. I'm really excited about these minifigs here. Let's take a gander. Some digital art. If you if I didn't know it was digital, it looks like you made it in like real life. That is uh that's me with my beard and uh minifinger is what Clark Van is saying. That's actually a good drawing. We've got the Octane logo up here as well. Let's see if I can get it back far enough so you guys can see the whole thing. That's very cool. That's very cool, Enzo. Let's take a look at these. We got the uh, little girl with her bunny. There you go. Looking cool. We don't have that one. I'll show you guys my display here in just a second. This guy, like a rock star. And uh, we'll put him on his base as well. 
noise. And this is my this is my favorite one right here. Not just because of the fig. I like the mini fig. Oh, then the there's her uh, flippers as well. This one is probably one of my favorites from the entire bunch. So there's her goggles and stuff going down. But what I really love, you guys are going to think I'm weird. I really love this turtle. Isn't that turtle just fantastic? I love it so much. I want to show you guys. I'll give you, take you up here on a little bit of a tour. First of all, Enzo, thank you for that. I'll take you on the tour of the ones that I have up here. Oh, man, Mando down. The Mando has fallen. Maybe we can move this over here. I need to clean this probably, but let's, uh, let's show off who we have here. So embarrassed by how dirty and dusty and disgusting everything is. But that's the whole thing of what I'm working on here in the studio. There's our collection. We've gotten these all sent to us here in the mail. And that is just really cool. Zach sent a bunch, and we got some here and there. But you're wondering which ones we have. Jeez, we're almost done collecting. That's craziness. Yeah, that's really awesome. Again, I apologize for my sill back there. I'm just, I'm not very proud of much in the Brickitect studio. I'm proud of you guys as I fall over this chair. My gosh, I'm proud of you guys for sticking with us here and watching our videos and dealing with that. I'll put this up there as well. Got to put her up there. There you go. Okay, that's not permanent. That's just kind of where they were just, just because it was a place. But I want to thank you guys so much for all of the letters that you guys sent, that is awesome. You guys can see what the rest of my space looks like here. This is, I just slid everything over. It's bad, but yeah, thank you so much for all the letters you guys sent. Thank you for all of the, the little things and the extras and the mini figs, which these two are sig figs. They're going to go up. I don't know if this one's a sig fig or not. You're going to have to let me know. But yeah, I'm I'm sorry again for letting you guys down on some of the things like when you, when you want me to send you Lego sets, for example, or, or things back. It's just... It's not a good place to get into, and I, I feel rotten about it, but I do appreciate everything you guys do, and, and uh, I really hate for this to be a one-sided thing. So in the future, you, d you guys don't have to send me send me stuff like this, especially like money and candy and all that stuff. If you want to send your sick fig, that's cool. And if you just want to send a letter, that's awesome too. I just like hearing from you guys, and I just want to keep this manageable so we can keep making these in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to put these letters in my in my HelloFresh box where I keep them all stored, including this one, inclu including this one, because it's a, it's a thing. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next Letter Attack video.